going to show you how to make this pencil pouch without a pattern. You will need a small scrap of clear vinyl, some scraps of fabric, a little piece of foam interfacing, a zipper, and a few pieces of um, fusible interfacing. So here I am sandwiching a piece that is roughly 8 inches by 10 and a half, I think, uh, of uh, fabric uh, with a piece of foam interfacing in the middle. And I'm quilting the three layers together about the width of the presser foot. As you can see, I'm just going back and forth, whichever way, uh, making a few mistakes, getting my thread caught right there. Uh, you'll see how I don't notice that the fabric on the back of my um, of my quilting quilted piece is folded and I'm going to sew straight over it. It's okay, it's a very forgiving project. And you can actually make this project in an, about an hour, that's how long it took me. The measurements are pretty rough when it comes to this. Everything is basically guesstimated, right? So the only thing that I think I measured was the clear vinyl piece. I think it was about four by seven inches. And then all the other pieces around the vinyl piece that I will sew later on, you'll see that they are not to size at all because I didn't want to have to match any edges or measure anything. So I'm getting my piece of clear vinyl and that is the short edge. So that's the, I guess the four inch side. And I'm sang sandwiching it between the right sides of, uh, so right sides together of the top fabric. The top fabric is interfaced with fusible interfacing and the lining fabric, which is the light blue one, and that's not interfaced with anything. So I have put the vinyl in between the two pieces of fabric and I'm rolling it up a little bit so it doesn't stick to the sewing machine bed. But I don't, I'm not using any Teflon foot, I'm not using anything else because that vinyl being between the two pieces of fabric, it will not stick to anything. So I want this done as simply and as fast as possible. You're going to see little hands popping in and out of the video. That's my son checking in on me to make sure his pencil pouch is coming according to specifications. So you'll repeat the process. That's the lining fabric right side up, vinyl and top fabric right side down. I'm just stitching the width of my presser foot, so about 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance, rolling it up again to make sure it doesn't stick. And then because you can't use an iron to fold these open, just finger press them. And remember these are the wrong, uh, I'm sorry, the right and the left side of your clear vinyl window. And if you have directional fabric, it's important for you to pay attention. But as you can see, the fabric is much bigger than my clear window. It's because I'm going to trim it later on. So now I'm top stitching about an eighth of an inch away from the vinyl window on both sides. It just makes it stay flatter and look nicer. And once you are finished top stitching, that, that is when I'm going to cut those pieces of fabric to the size of the vinyl window. After I cut them, I will repeat the same process with the bottom of my pencil pouch because on top of the uh, clear vinyl window, I will have my zipper. So at the bottom, the exact same thing, stitch over your lining and your uh, top side fabric and you're going to top stitch it again. So right now we have three sides of this window, the left, right and bottom. Again, pay attention with directional fabric, which is what I have. For the top of the vinyl window, I used a two inch piece of fabric. I will call this binding from now on. It's actually uh, folded in four, so the raw edges are folded inward, kind of like a bias tape, but it is not a true bias, truly bias tape because it does not stretch. So I'm just stitching this as close as I can to the clear vinyl window right now with one stitch, and then we're going to attach the zipper. When I attach the zipper, I use the strip of glue to attach, keep the zipper in place on top of, I mean underneath the clear vinyl window and I'm stitching using a zipper foot as close as I can to the zipper tape without actually uh, stitching very close to it because you want to leave room for that zipper pull to move around too. So I decided to stitch a second line um, just to secure that zipper tape in place. So this way my binding for the top of the clear vinyl window will have three uh, stitches. I think it looks really nice. It looks modern. And I know that that zipper is not going to go anywhere anytime soon. So exactly what we did for the bottom of this clear vinyl uh, window, we're going to do for the top, this time stitching it directly to the zipper tape. So keep that zipper foot on. Um, so the 
top fabric is going to be on top right side down you'll have your zipper and then the lining fabric in the back and then you're going to top stitch about folded corner in the um, in every corner and just keep going all the way around So you go back and forth a little bit right there just to secure those stitches and your pouch could be done now but I wanted to be oh, go overboard a little bit so I just went with another line of stitching in between the edge of the tape and the, uh, the stitch line just to make it look flat and make it look more cohesive with what I did with the bias tape that is right next to the zipper. And after this I figured out that maybe my son would want this in his binder in school so i didn't want to punch holes in this so what i did is i got three pieces of ribbon and i have folded them over and just stacked them in place so stitch forward and back a couple of times to keep them secured right there on the bottom of the your uh, pouch of your pencil pa pouch pencil box oh my goodness pencil pouch i have already measured from an old pencil pouch where those holes should be and your pouch should now be done. I have also chose to put a little piece of that ribbon inside the zipper to make it easier for him to pull, but it's very effective. He loves it, he uses it every day, and it has his favorite type of fabric. So if you liked this content, let me know, and I'll catch you later. Thank you.